Here again with Bill Jordan, Embracing the Boom and Embracing Life. Hey, Bill. Great to see you. Good to uh, be back with you guys. Thanks for having me. Bill, you seem to have a lot of answers for life. And, and I, here's a question for you. If you can answer this, I don't know that anybody can. Why does it seem that every time I'm watching television with my wife, and I know, I know that something important is happening. See that guy? He's the guy that's going to kill the other guy, right? Oh, hmm. She's she's looking at the dog. She's playing. Oh, do, 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 do. What? Did you see that? Did, did you see that guy? No. What guy? What guy? What? Wh why is she missing? Not just looking down or looking away. We all do that. Why is she missing that important moment? Well, I, I in our home it's it's reversed because I'll be typically looking at my bowl of ice cream, uh, lovingly. <laughs> and I'll be missing something that is quite germane to the story D later on. It's like, well, why did, when did that, she said that was a scene earlier that, you know, it was a pretty huge scene. It was a big, so I, that, that does happen. We just take our, we're distracted by whatever else is going on, whether it be a dog in, in your wife's lap or a bowl of ice cream in my lap. And then eventually all over my shirt, <clears throat> it was just distraction to that. I need whether I'm paying attention or not, I need my wife there to explain things to me. Uh, it's like, why is that important? Why did that? And she says, well, don't you remember the guy came in? And I may have even been watching, but I don't, I'm not following what's happening. So uh, I, I, I've told her before, and I'm not kidding. It's like, well, I want to see that movie well, she, well, you can watch it by yourself. It's like, no, no, I need you to, I need you to explain <laughs> to me what I'm watching because it's like sometimes I don't follow it. I just don't. There'll be some little nuance. Um, there was a there was a movie years and years ago, The Blair Witch Project. Yeah. Like in, in in one of the opening scenes, it kind of gives you. It it sets up the ending of the movie. And I was doing something. I wasn't paying attention in the opening credits or whatever was going on. And the end of the movie came on. I went, what's the big deal? What was the... And she had to explain to me. The scene at the opening and then at the scene at the end were the same. And it was kind of... Totally missed it. Yeah. <laughs> in, our, in our household, uh, I'm the one who is just annoyingly catching continuity breaks. You know, they go from one scene to the other. Obviously, they're shot 30 times, as we know in the business. They're shot at 30 times. And some intern uh, who was uh, uh, assigned a, sh a, a, a notepad to figure out a clipboard, <laughs> you know, make sure that, you know, the cigarette is only half burned in the ashtray or that uh, the meal is only, you know, a third eaten, not the plate right. is cleared or something. But, but I notice things like car windows are open when they do a shot, let's say, talking on the street, and then they do another shot from the other side and the window is shut. Right. You know, so... I do that all the time. Art, I do uh, it all the time. And yeah. I'll say, I caught him. I caught yeah. him. <clears throat> and I have to rewind. And I'll show her. He was holding the coffee cup in his right hand. Then he wasn't holding the coffee cup. Then he was holding the coffee cup. <clears throat> and I mean, stuff like that. Or even where guy goes in for a kiss and he's tilting his head to the right. Then they cut it and his head's to the left. It's like, right. man, it's, you know, he just, yeah. he just cut her nose off. So, uh, you know, I, I think we have to give this a name. I call, I, I'm going to call it team watching it takes two of us to figure out what's going on <coughs> you know after does, you're a certain you need, here. john after you're of a certain age okay you need two one to pick up you used to be able to do the whole thing yourself okay but yeah. we no longer can so we have to divide the responsibilities yeah. you pay attention to who done it and i'll uh, pay attention to who it got done to so yeah. we have to split it up <laughs> well you also have to factor in your how much you care factor. Because sometimes I miss stuff and it's like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me, guys. It's that time of year. Good, isn't right. it? Yeah. I, I've just, you know, watching TV is such a an important pastime after a certain age, right? I, we're not going out to bars. We're not going out to big parties. The red carpet doesn't uh, interest me anymore. TV, just turn mm -hmm. on, I don't know, for art, it's the Hallmark Channel. Oh, absolutely. Not they're they're not hard to figure out. Those right. things are... That, I'm not I, sure Hallmark takes two teams. I can watch Hallmark Channel during the daytime. That's... <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, you know what? 
uh, although this is uh, th th this is uh, not necessarily seasonal. Although I know that uh, uh, Bill is wearing his winter gear, so it, we must be getting into the fall and the winter. Um, but uh, right now we happen to be shooting this in November, and it's already uh, well, about two weeks of Christmas movies. Oh yeah, day and night. Now even when there's normally the reruns of. Uh, Murder, She Wrote, and things like that, it's being preempted by uh, Christmas Hallmark movies, which are all shot in either Canada or New England. Uh, right. Where you got you, I, by the way, you can tell by... I, I, uh, spoiler alert. Uh, when you're watching a Hallmark movie, if you want to have a shot in uh, Canada, all you have to do is put on the closed captioning and see if it has use in like color and things like that. Yeah, the, the British stuff. Anyway, that, uh, my, but yes, homework. Homework is my life. Well, all I can say is, it. thank God we have spouses that we can have help interpret these movies. Mm -hmm. It's a team. It, it takes a team, you know, to to watch television anymore. So Not uh, a village. Not a village. A team. Not a village. Just a team. Just one uh, trusted companion that can shoot the plot to you straight. It's helpful. Okay. So go 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 uh, watch a movie uh, with your spouse or your 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 partner or whatever or your puppy uh, who may be able to talk to you uh, and, and and participate so that you don't yeah. miss anything. You need a partner. Yeah. Also, an honorable mention, if I may, to the subtitles people, as you mentioned before about Canadian TV, it has gotten to where not necessarily that it's got to be loud for me, but I do need subtitles many times. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, you miss understand a word. what they're saying. It sounds right. like they're mumbling to me, so I need yeah. the subtitles sometimes. Yeah. Well, well maybe, maybe everybody we younger come, than us we should come with subtitles. Mm -hmm. Everybody younger than us talks too fast. Well, you know, as it was told to me by a guy I used to work with from New York, he said, "I don't talk fast. You listen slow." There, mm -hmm. there you go. All right. Guys, well, thanks, thanks, thanks for subtitles. For Thanks for having me. We, we love it. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.